Your Aunt Sam's Coy Harvey spoke with Damar's uncle Dorian Glenn just minutes ago. Dorian, when did you find out the news was not looking good for your nephew? Um, really like the same as uh, um, everybody else when we was watching on TV. You know, just when you see someone get in an ambulance, you know that's pretty bad. Um, you know, you mentioned to me a moment ago that you were watching at home in Pittsburgh with other members of your family, including your other nephew, uh, Damar's youngest brother. Um, uh, walk me through what you all were witnessing in the moment that you saw your nephew go down. Yeah, I mean, you know, to see see my younger nephew, um, you know, break down in tears like that. First, we just thought it was just a normal hit, and we thought he'd pop back up or maybe take a couple plays off and get back, but. You know, the way my nephew, I never heard him scream and cry like that. And when it was 10 minutes gone past and then 20 minutes gone past, I knew something was serious. And, you know, it went from us consoling him to we were consoling each other. Everyone in the living room was crying, man. And it was just, it was like a gut punch. And I mean, it's just, you know, I've never seen a game get stopped like that. I've never seen a collection of grown men crying like that unless it was a funeral. Um, so it, it, it was impactful to see that and, you know, my heart would go out no matter who it was, but for it to be my nephew, man, it was um, it was all that more chilling for me. How old is your youngest nephew? A seven. So uh, those screams are something that you all needed to try to comfort him, but it was exactly. probably hard at that moment. It, it, it was hard, and like, you know, we're telling him it's gonna be all right, it's gonna be all right, but, you know, as the, as the game continued and, you know, there was nothing, you know, progressing as far as him getting up or him getting better. They kept going to breaks, and it just started to be apparent that, hold up, something's not right, you know. And like I said, eventually we were all in there crying, you know. And, you know, it was, it was pretty scary to see that. It was it was really scary. And um, once they canceled the game, we loaded up two car loads, and we drove from Pittsburgh to Cincinnati to just be here to support my nephew. What have you guys been hearing from doctors inside the hospital about your, your nephew's status? Um, not too much. Um, like I said, they really talked to my brother and um, my sister-in-law a lot more. Um, I just been kind of just kind of like hearing as much as I can and really just being here to be in support for him. And um, you know, I know he's still here and I know he's fighting. And I know that, um, you know, we, we appreciate all the prayers and support we've been getting from like people all over the not just the country but the world and i know that prayer there's power in prayer and for all the prayer that we've been getting um it really means a difference for um, my family to see that and i know it'll mean a difference to more when he sees that as well when you had a chance to see your nephew um what what did what, what did you witness what, what did you um, hear about him? to be honest i'm not gonna lie like it it, it was heartbreaking it was it was it was gut-wrenching even go through there um, I'm not even gonna lie. Like I, I, I turned around. I, I couldn't do it. I could. I don't want to see him like that. And I just. I want to wait till he's able to recover, and then I can. I can actually talk to him, and um, you know, see my nephew again. Once again, our, our thoughts are with his entire family, and um, we'll get reaction coming up at the top of the hour uh, from a Bills player's perspective mm -hmm. and what they saw last night and what the team's dealing with right now. I also want to let everybody know LSU Kentucky is coming up next year on ESPN. And again, it's a developing story with DeMar Hamlin, so we are all over it. We're going to slide over to ESPN2. We'll continue with updates. We'll bring you any additional pertinent information as it comes in. For now, we get you to basketball. Welcome to Super Tuesday. It is presented by Progressive Lexington, Kentucky, Rough Arena, where they are a little concerned about their hometown Wildcats. A preseason top five. They have fallen out of the top 25. Tonight, they deal with the LSU Tigers. A totally different look for this club as we go back one year and realize this has been a very good series. LSU's been a second half team all season. This is a different team, bro. That is not Tari Eason. LSU won that one 65-60. Tari Eason had a dunk. He's no longer here. 
who is here, Oscar Shibwe for Kentucky. The player of the year comes back for the Wildcats. He was just presented with a game ball for his 1,000th career rebound. It feels like he gets 1,000 rebounds every game he plays. And alongside Jimmy Dykes, I'm Carl Ravitch. Welcome, fired up for another SEC season as we begin the grind of conference play here as the calendar turns. So this is something we've seen from Kentucky before, slow start. They hope to peak by March. Where would you say this team is? Well, they're disappointed right now, right, in their non-conference play. When you consider they're the preseason pick to win the SEC, they've struggled. Like you said, we've seen Cal's team do this before. They had a get-right game on Saturday against Louisville, who was awful defensively. But still, Kentucky, they moved the ball. They got to the third or fourth pass. They ran some new, some new options, some new actions. And Cal continues to tell his guys, we are the team to beat in the SEC. We have all the pieces we need. And I believe that he does. We've seen Kentucky turn this thing around before. It needs to start again tonight because this LSU team is the real deal. Playing the role of psychologist. Yeah. Worrying more about the mental game than the physical game. On the other side, after last season, LSU became LSU. They have a new coach who had no scholarship players and quickly built something. What has he built? Well, Ellis Hu is Matt McMahon, the new head coach. He's a mid-major grinder for his life. Now steps onto the big stage, and he has handled it with perfection. They are 12-1. and one. They are a juggernaut defensively. They run a deliberate offense. They don't turn it over. They are a well-coached, well-oiled machine. Now he steps into the SEC play on the road for the first time, but this is a mature guy. They won 31 games last year under him at Murray State. He brought three key guys with him to LSU. The main stud, the main star, the most important guy on the floor is this kid right here, K.J. Williams. Ravi, he's all of 6'10 and 245. You look at his numbers and what he's doing right now. The problem that he brings for Kentucky tonight, this kid is shooting 49% Ravi from the three-point line. He has the ability with the gravity ability as a shooter to bring guys like Oscar Shibwe away from the rim and open up that LSU offense. K.J. Williams right now is right there at the front for SEC Player of the Year. He's as explosive as the fireworks that are going on inside Rupp Arena. Let's get to know K.J. Williams a little bit more. My pre-game rituals always need to get tennis with me. My best move is to shimmy hook. <laughs> best dance with me. breathe until we can break into the gritty. Let him breathe a little bit. Now he's going to put some pressure on Oscar Shibwe because he's such a good outside shooter. Yeah, he is. You know, a year ago on January 3rd, we knew that Oscar Shibwe was the National Player of the Year. Not the case this year. This guy still is a major impact dude, averaging 16 points and 13 rebounds, talking about the big O. I know this against Oscar Shibwe. You have to run and you have to compete because that's what this guy does better than anything else. The rebound numbers are because of the fact that he runs every time and he competes every time. You got to keep a body on him. We know that he has the ability to change the game around the rim and on the glass. But LSU's got the size. I think they have the toughness to make life maybe a little difficult on Oscar Shibwe. And it starts with K.J. Williams. There is K.J. Williams. LSU is 12 and 1. They did not have a very difficult non-conference schedule. Now that they're in conference, how about a win over Arkansas, which has been a top 20 team for most of the season, and picked by Joe Lenardi as one of the three teams in the SEC he feels currently are Final Four candidates. Arkansas, Alabama, and Tennessee, who's whipping Mississippi State tonight. Not mentioned in that group, Kentucky. Kentucky's coming in off that win against Louisville. They're trying to play a little freer, a little happier, a little looser. As we get set for the tip, Doug Shouse will throw it up Ravi, everything worked against Louisville's defense. That will not be the case tonight. LSU is solid, they're sound. They've got fighters at all five positions on the defensive spots. Jacob Toppin had a huge game against Louisville. He wears zero for Kentucky and is a huge, huge aspect when it comes to their offense as a scoring option. Wheeler picked the ball up, and now there's seven on the shot clock for Toppin. Trying to get it inside to Shibwe. Three on the shot clock. Throws it up. No good, and a rebound for LSU. That's Derek Fountain, the M Mississippi State transfer. 
LSU will start Cam Hayes, Justin Hill, Justice Hill, really two great point guards, KJ Williams, Derek Fountain, and Adam Miller, who's a terrific shooter and just hasn't been able to find his shot. He fires first. That's too strong. Big time box out. The ball bounced off the ground. Wheeler picks it up. Baseline drive. Wallace, they move it around. Livingston has a three. Got it. Really good job to cut Kentucky. Swing, swing. It started in the corner with a first swing. Ends up with Livingston on top. Livingston trying to become a little more consistent. 6'6", 220 out of Akron, Ohio. Terrific body and one of those five-star prospects. LSU runs a deliberate offense. They're going to take a lot of shots, Ravi. Under 10 on the shot clock. And this kid, Miller, can snap it off quick now. His release from three is as quick as anybody in this league. 30th of three of the year for Adam Miller. A transfer he missed all of last year with a torn ACL. All five defenders in purple inside that three-point line. Going to put bodies and make a crowded effort against Shibway and Toppin tonight. Wallace fires, that one is off, and the rebound goes LSU's way. Another shot, that one is short to the left. So Miller's launched three threes and made one of them. Yeah, Here's Wallace, good. there you go, with a dunk, and he's hanging from the rim, and he comes right down on A.J. Williams' shoulder. Ready, you cannot, you cannot take bad, quick shots if you're LSU. Miller fired one up. That's a bad shot turnover, and Rupp comes to life. It comes to its feet. Fountain drives. Contact, but he gets it to go off the window. No foul. What a fit he has been to transfer from Mississippi State. He is a downhill drive and 6'9", 4 man. Very physical. Goes with force. Goes with a purpose towards the basket. And will pull up. Free throw line extended in a hot start for Kentucky lead 7-5. Ready, that's the question for not only Kentucky, but for Jacob Toppin. Can they do it again? They gained some confidence against Louisville, but this is a major, major step up in competition tonight. Hill way oh. off with a three. Not the shot that Matt McMahon wants two out of the last three possessions. Yeah, no way. About 35% from three. Shigway wide open. He sealed off Williams and got the left-handed layup. That top and Shibway piston action high low is starting to be a real force that John Calipari can go to. They are really strung together well on the offensive end. Better mall movement too, Jimmy, for Kentucky on the offensive end. A little hot potato. Miller with Livingston on him will not shoot that. And there's seven on the shot clock. Shibway now with Hill. He takes it blocked. I mean, Kentucky's defense has started hot. And they switched out just to race that last attempt. There's the bad shot I'm talking about. That is a bad shot turnover because all it does is ignite that Kentucky run game with Wheeler to Casey Wallace. Here's what I'm talking about. You get switched off, no problem for Shibway. Just eats it up from behind. Shibway had that ball knocked out of his hands, but he... Quickly recovered. Top of baseline too strong and a good rebound on the weak side from the guard, Justice Hill. Another one on one move. Miller fires quickly. That's off. I just find it hard to believe that Matt McMahon wants those quick threes in this game. Trey Hannibal coming off a terrific game is set to come in for LSU. Livingston a way off. It looked bad coming on with his hand. We were right in line with it from behind. Had no chance. Look who's coming in. Trey Hannibal. What does that all have to do with bowling and basketball? Jimmy Dykes rolls a strike when we come back. Sail through the heart of historic cities. An unforgettable scene. The game changes when LSU's Trey Hannibal checks in. He's 6'2", 215 pounds, and a downhill driver. He is a bowling ball going to the rim. He knocks defenders out of the way like a bowling ball does with a pin. This is Trey Hannibal, the ball. Trey Hannibal, hard to guard. 
They're a one-take wonder right there. I mean, the Earl Anthony of ESPN <laughs> analysts. <laughs> this kid is hard to guard. Trey Annable wins United against Arkansas. Arkansas never could. Never could take away his right hand. And he thrives in a game when the defense stays attached to shooters and they're a little bit of a crack. But he can change the game as a downhill driver. This kid with the ball right now. He just knocks people out of yeah. the way as well as any guard in the country right now. His philosophy, never let anyone stop me from getting where I want to go. And just having him back on the floor seemed to free up some offense. And Williams buries a three. That's the guy that needs to take quick threes if they're going to take him. K.J. Williams, again, 49% on the year. That's his 26th win. Same starting five for Kentucky. Livingston, Wheeler, Sheebway, Wallace, Toppin. Wallace into the paint. Five on the shot clock. Good hands underneath. Sheebway sticks with it and lays it up to the reverse lane. Well, good quick hands, but Oscar twice now has picked up loose balls where many would turn the other way and and head back to play defense. Ravi, you cannot come off of Oscar Sheebway ever. It's body on body contact for two hours. You're not gonna move him, he's gonna move you, but you gotta fight him. Hannibal, this is just what Jimmy talked about, lost it for a second, there's five on the shot clock. Miller again. That one looked good from jump straight. He knocked it down. You got to take that one. But again, that, that three-point came off of a paint touch. The inside-outside pass right into shot pocket. And Miller, bam, nothing but the bottom. 11-11, 14 to go in the first half. Well, this is not going to ice that side ball screen. And Cal's going to try to go to that empty corner pick and roll. It works really well, Rowdy, the first time he goes through it. Wallace comes off of it clean and elevates at the elbow. Wallace has four, Kentucky six of ten from the field. Look at Williams moving Oscar away from that rim. The threat of that three-point shot. Pull it back. Yep, KJ does. Shibwe did contest that. And boy, what a touch there. Shibwe is right in his face. That's the issue you have. This is as good of a pick-and-pop five-man that the SEC has. One of the better ones in the country. Jay played for Murray State from 18 to 22 and averaged 18 a game. He's averaging just under 20 this season. That's going to be a foul on Fountain, far away from the basket. His coach says just stay inside that three-point line. Rabbi, here's what I'm talking about, 12 in purple. He's 6'10", he sets the ball screen, and now he pops out of it. Sheboy gets attracted to it. Two guys on the ball, nobody on K.J. Williams. That's a real problem. How do, what do you do with this kid defensively? Because if you switch... He just shoots over the top of a smaller guard. I expect that action to continue. Look at his numbers. His growth under Matt McMahon has been phenomenal. Actually played his freshman year with John Moran. Yeah. Very unselfish. Wheeler, that's way oh. off. And Williams, who can shoot from the outside, he leads the team in offensive rebounding. He was the screener in that game against Arkansas. Short there as he nudged Chiboy out of the way. Wheeler will try to run. They will run when it's open, and that time he ran right into KJ Williams and picked up the foul on Williams. Yeah, Cal told his guys today off the of miss. I want to go. I want to go into a, a drag, a double drag, get the ball reversed. We're going to be very aggressive. That LSU defense has the respect of Coach Cal. He didn't want to go against the set defense for a full 40 minutes. Kendall Coleman now into the game. Jalen Reed, 13, also in. Coleman has gone a couple of games without scoring. They try to dump it down low to Shibwe, and that was a force. Yeah, it just wasn't there. The double team was set. Toppin's got to be in the eyes of Shibwe. They go to floppy action, then flash uh, Toppin high. Now, Cal's got a lot of criticism about his offense, but you, if you know ball and you watch film, they're running floppy, they're running step-up ball screens. they got some box set stuff going on. Some high ball screen looks. Their offense is not broke. It's just not quite where he wants it to be yet. Most overanalyzed team in the country is the Kentucky Wildcats. Justice Williams, another Murray State transfer with seven on the shot clock. And the offense starting way away from the basket with two to go. Williams is going to have to shoot it. No good. Loose ball. Body on the ground is Hannibal. So numbers for Kentucky. Here is Sheboy. 
Like I said, you have to run with Shibwe and you have to compete with Shibwe for 40 minutes. I believe he has the fastest three-quarter court sprint registered for all Kentucky players this year. That's how fast he is. Hannibal to the hole, throws it Ooh. up, and he will get the bucket and go to the free throw line. He thrives off a of contact, knocking defenders out of the way. Let him have his right hand. It's over. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Progressive Insurance. It's easy to bundle your home and car insurance at Progressive.com. Good game at Rock. 16-15 as we head to break. Three-point field goal attempts. I will say this, a lot of skepticism out there on social media about your bowling. My, my own wife and daughter are texting me saying, how many takes did it take? It took one. Mm -hmm. It took one. When you step behind me, we did it, bowl the strike, boom. And in complete transparency, we did it. We, I threw four, four balls. Four balls a day and had three strikes. You did. Which you acknowledge you've never done in your never life. Never done in my life. And the first time we shot it the way we did from behind you, that was the one take and we were out of there. Be your best in the biggest moments. Hannibal completes the three-point play, LSU by two. I right, watch Wheeler bringing this ball up. He's a polarizing kid in this state. But you look at his numbers, he's been really good. In this ball game, he already has four assists, and he leads Kentucky with four defensive rebounds. LSU's changed to a zone defense. They're moving all over the place. And don't come outside that three. Just keep that thing packed in. Wheeler trying to find a hole. Wallace can't, and Wheeler will shoot the three and yeah. find the net. To my point about Severe Wheeler. He's a 38% three-point guy on the year. He has now made six out of his last 12 from the three-point line. LSU plays the percentages. Wheeler makes him pay. Big body Sean Phillips, a freshman seven-footer into the game for LSU. And they believe that the sky is the ceiling on this guy's ability. Terrific body for a freshman. Five on the shot clock, penetration, great defense, a little hang, no good. And the offensive mm. rebound is put back up and in by Justice Williams. You've got to battle Kentucky on the glass on both ends. And again, if you can't guard the ball, then the offensive glass comes into play. And that's exactly what happened to Kentucky on the last possession. Seven-footer Phillips got a hand on it. Oh. Got to believe player of the year. Oscar Shibwe has an advantage against the freshman if they can get him the ball with all that experience they tried there, but it was a kick. Jimmy College Basketball Quadruple Header Saturday, SEC Network. At the big game, Ricky Council, the fourth, takes on Wendell Green and Auburn. Boy, Arkansas and Eric Wilson and Spice and injuries have been playing terrific. Council averaging 18 a game. Wendell Green about 13. Auburn playing again very well for Bruce Pearl. Quadruple header on the SEC Network. A huge game on ESPN, Kentucky, and Alabama. You mentioned Ricky Council. He couldn't even start for Wichita State last year. Now he's one of the best players in the SEC. Collins into the game. This is his first one. She way offensive rebound right up through. The big fella, Sean Phillips. If you ever come off of Oscar Sheebway when Kentucky has the ball, you're in trouble. And that time, there was nobody even close to him when that shot was taken. It just completely sucks everything up on the backside. Eight points, three rebounds for Sheebway with nine and a half to go in the first half. They got the switch. They threw it to Phillips, oh. and he never got off the ground. Reeves ahead of the field, and they will slow it down. That's, a, that's what Cal did at Louisville. He, he deliberately slowed his guys down. Yep. They scored 86 points and only took 13 threes. Very deliberate, getting that ball to the second or third side. Wheeler no good, offensive rebound, Collins. Yeah, you can't guard the ball, you can't clean up the glass. Just one of the basic fundamentals of basketball. And LSU struggling, to my surprise, of staying in front of the ball. Maybe in Collins, Antonio Reeves out of the floor for Kentucky. Cal's message to them, you're not going to play a lot of minutes. You may as well make an impression with the minutes you play. Hannibal hard to the hole, and that is just exactly what you talked about, rolling that strike. Yeah, you say Hannibal, I say Hannibal. 
Masters. He is a bowling ball man. Again, you have got to take away his right hand, Randy. You have to. Weak, weak, weak. Force him left. Force him into a crowd. There's the putback I'm talking about for Shibwe. It's just a little bit of a nudge and knock somebody out of the way on that weak side. And again, you can't guard the ball. You can't guard the glass. Big guys come over. Backside rotation. Can't rotate down quick enough. Kentucky gets you. There's Hannibal. And that's all right hand just mm. bowling through people. That is a grown man on the attack. Great force. He moved Case and Wallace yes. out of the way. <laughs> man against a boy on that one. So let's pick up his first foul. He goes to the bench. Starting five back on the floor for LSU. Wheeler is wide open. Ty arching three, no good. Sheway the rebound. He muscled Williams on the way, and he got fouled. Yeah, I know you saw it. Did you see Sheepway clear out Williams yeah. with a legal play? This is the, there's no one stronger in all of college basketball than Oscar Sheepway. He is a rock. He did a demo with him back in the fall, and he hit me about half half speed. But watch right here. Just oh, get out of my way. This is my territory. He owns that restricted arc on both ends. A frustrating night so far for Fountain. He picks up his second foul. Sheepway will shoot two. First one is off and short. 65% free throw shooter. Free throw shooting has been a tr problem for Kentucky early in the year. Look at that last one right there. He has out-rebounded every opposing player in every game that he's played at Kentucky. That, that's an amazing stat. switch high accountability you, you got yours they try to bully through screens Kentucky one of the isolation plays on their offensive end double figure Shibwe 11 he's got five rebounds well on his way to another double double a lot of dribbling from Miller and the floater no good Shibwe can't come up with it and it is Kentucky on the run out Wallace Contact there, a little bit out of control, but we'll get the foul. Antonio Reeves drew it. I really appreciate the speed and the toughness that Kentucky's playing with on the offensive end. They are hard driving the ball against a really good defensive team. Get lower than your defender, win your one on one battle, find Sheepway on the weak side, Kentucky up early. We wore the same coat to a party. And I was like, twins! And then I told him about this 24-7 waffle place. Waffles, anytime. That's just as great as Geico's 24-7 claim service. Anytime, you know, on the phone or online. And I was like, wish you can get waffles on the phone. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> Seriously, it was crying. And then we got waffles. Yeah, waffles! <laughs> Geico, 24-7 claim service. There are five days of the week. Friday, 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 and everyone's favorite, Friday, sizzle, pork, and mmm. I love Sonic's under two dollar craves, are under two bucks, so you can get something tasty without breaking the bank. Sonic under two dollar craves. Mm, Sonic. She's a man. They're working on a chair. Get her. Said everything right. We have a job to do. There's no halfway with this. So is this stuff really fresh? Yes. I mean, yeah, we don't have freezers. This is definitely real food. And we always have fresh stuff coming in. I mean, this is the best walk that you can get. Fresh is what you stand for. Definitely. 
Shorts are next level. The fit, perfect for my legs. The fabric is super soft, and the pocket on the side is perfect to hold my keys, chapstick, and my phone at the same time. You can take these shorts to the gym, back home, and back out to run errands. The Sunday short is truly my everyday short. Just a moment of your time, everyone. Can put together, turkey. Single Care, the app that truly helps you save on your meds. Is that? Yeah, he's here every day. Do you use Single Care? No, I have insurance. Oh, Single Care can actually beat your copay. Single Care can also beat the price of your Medicare plan. Did you know? You just search your prescription in the Single Care app and show your coupon to your pharmacist. Best of all, Single Care is free to use. Marty, it's time to talk. I have a story to tell! Check the Single Care price today. Ravi, I love the joy that Oscar Shibway plays the game with. Look at him defensively. Switches out, stays down, and just eats the ball up from behind as a big guy has to do against a smaller guard. you got to have that recovery speed and length and look at Shibway run the floor. That's what I'm talking about. You got to We know he got a rebound like that, but you got to run with him, and you have to compete with him. He's going to win a one-on-one -on -one battle, but you got to at least put him in the crowd and make him work. Look what he's done already, man. Halfway to a double-double with 11-5, and five, and... He's not in my top three for National Player of the Year as of January the 3rd, but don't discount this guy yet. Don't discount Kentucky yet. Still coming back off of off-season surgery on his leg. And he said coming into this season, I cannot end my career losing to St. Peter's. Yeah. He's a fascinating guy. There's, of course, a nice NIL package that helps get him back here. A player of the year, you figure most of the time going to go off and start his career, but... There's a career now in college. Yeah, I, I was with him back in the fall for a, a couple of days. We actually went to an elementary school together where he surprised a fourth grade class, and took time to read books to him and answer questions. Just a, a phenomenal human, human being that will be one of all-time greats remembered by this Kentucky fan base if and when he leaves in the next year or two. Kentucky pressure. Look at this kid. Yeah, Hannibal. He bounced off the body that time, and it's a turnover. He's playing some minutes, and he's making an impact. And in Kentucky, 40% from the three-point line. They're shooting 39% as a team, which leads the league. Lazy pass there. It's swiped, and here's Hannibal. He dishes. Look out. I thought he was going to take that by himself, but instead it was the trailer Jalen Reed. Surprised he gave it up. It was a good decision. Jalen Reed's dad was a phenomenal yes. player at Ole Miss. Four-time all SEC, but I told you Hannibal can flip the game, and he has since he checked into the 16-minute mark. Six man of the year type player, the way he comes off this LSU bench. 19 in that win against Arkansas. Wheeler, the kick, Collins by Arthur. No good. Oscar, another offensive rebound. And Wheeler knocks down a three. Some point they're going to have to get guard him the way he's shooting when he's wide open. Right, he's maybe played as well as he played since he's been at Kentucky. He's under control. He hasn't had crazy turnovers yet. And he's taken the shots that he has to take and make. Corner three, no good. A contest from Shibway out on KJ Williams. Seven point lead, Kentucky. 5.40 to go in the first half. Seal down, Shibway goes up. He's going to get fouled. And the game plan is to get it down to 34, and they're doing that tonight. There's a lazy pass by Casey Wallace up top, and Hannibal gives it up to Reed. A lot of length and athleticism on these guys in purple. This is guy, he, he wins every fist fight and body blow that there is contact around the rim. I talk about you have to win your fair share of rim collisions. Yeah. Sheepway wins every time. Foul on Jalen Reed, that's his first. Sheepway's free throw is good. So a story behind Oscar, he plays for his family. His dad passed away nine years ago. He went back home to see his mom. She was in a tiny, tiny home with family, relatives, really bummed Oscar out. So he has completely dedicated his play to his family. Offensive rebound off the free throw miss. Doug Shouse waves it off. But they got 
Jason Warnos for a throw off. You've got to step into the legs hard. It's Casey Wallace. Watch him. I don't see it. No, I don't see it at all. He came from the opposite side. I didn't see anything right there that merited Casey Wallace getting whistled for a personal foul. Did you? Yes, sir. Williams. Good defense. No, they're going to say he did. And that time Collins brought his hands down. Calipari is in the ear of Shouse, not for that call, but for the player one on the offensive rebound. If no if any, foul, there. no, no. If anything, if there's almost foul, being held. And if there's a foul, it's on LSU. Yeah, yeah right there. The, the grab of the shoulder. That's just a missed call and a tremendous hustle, hard play by Casey Wallace. He gets waved off. free throw play that Kentucky ran though stunning one guy in and from the opposite side it's just a foot race to the weak side and, and Wallace won the foot race that's all it was uncontested the loud crowd and students still away from the winter break and that second free throw is made by KJ Williams He's up to eight points. I mean, LSU playing really with free money tonight on the road. Not, not Kentucky. Their next game Saturday, you and I have it at Alabama. And it kind of feels like a must win tonight for Cal and his guys. Back to that zone. A little stretched out, though. Last time they did this, Wheeler was left open for a three. This time they get on him, and he got up in the air. And he follows the ball and picks it up and lays it in. Don't let one mistake become two. Wheeler didn't get his dauber down. He pursued the basketball and got something good out of something bad. Lead is eight, four and a half to go, first half. And Will gets that screen and then the blow by. Four called against Savir Wheeler, and that is his first. That men's basketball Saturday matinee for you. Ball Saturday matinee for you. We'll have Oscar Shibway, Kentucky. They'll be in Tuscaloosa. Brandon Miller's been outstanding. Alabama currently number seven. Three pointer drops for LSU. That Alabama team's good enough to win the whole thing. They got Lee, they got superstar and Miller. Yeah. Get a lot of help from Mark Sears, Noah. Found Mark Sears, Noah. He's been unbelievable. They got a two-headed point guard monster in Bradley and Quinterly. It's a blockbuster at one on ESPN on Saturday. Five-point game here. Ten to go on the shot clock. Wallace launches. Right on. He carries it. Wallace with a violent cut against the zone. Sprinted to get behind Wheeler. Loose ball. Miller open for a three. And that goes down. Both teams warming. No hesitation again by Miller. And it's in and out. He put a stopwatch on his catch to release time. Probably about 0.8 seconds, which is outstanding. Reeves way downtown. That's off. That was from the P in Ruff Arena. But the offensive rebound goes to Kentucky. They're winning the battle on the offensive glass for sure tonight. How viable would C.J. Frederick be right now in this zone? Out maybe till uh, Saturday beyond with a dislocated finger. Both teams 50% from three-point man. Wheeler penetrates the floater no good. This is an amazing story, LSU. When McMahon took the program over, there were zero scholarship players. He looked around at the staff and said, you know, we are going to play Kentucky and Auburn and Arkansas and Alabama. We have no players. The foul and a potential three-point play. Williams to the line. What a play by K.J. Williams. And that quick boomerang pass from Hannibal back to Williams. But the first one got it started for LSU just about three possessions ago off the baseline out of bounds. Bam, they stick a three. And then they come right back and find Miller in the corner who squeezes it off quickly. And then the last two by Miller. The pick and pop, the ball fake. Big fella with a gracious, smooth control at the rim. Well done.
down roof. And Adam Miller has not shot the ball this year. Three for six from three. Yeah, if Kentucky, if they're going to play that 1-1-3, one, one, you got to bring Jacob Toppin in. He can shoot, he's a big target in the middle of the zone, and he can knock down a jumper off of that baseline. Hey, Jimmy Dykes, why didn't Carl Ravage get a chance to ball? I'd like to see that. <laughs> Somebody had to run the camera. Yes, man, run the camera, and Ravage was all, all on top of it. As Kevin Potters knows, that's the Ithaca College television production 101. Casey and Ithaca go? Talk about that. Mississippi State 79 43 getting run right now by Tennessee. That's coming up at the half. Williams completes the three point play. And the two big fellas, Sheway and Williams, both into double figures. Livingston back into the game. So is Toppin, and they are in that 1 1 3. And they're doing a good job of protecting the nail, which is making it difficult to get it inside the Toppin. Yes, to slide off of that nail really well done. Don't fight the pressure. Slide off the nail and catch it to mid post. And that is Toppin's money spot. Back in the studio, Seth Greenberg is taking the bow. Gonna get Toppin back in there. What does he do? Knock down a jump shot. Hannibal to his left, kicks it back. Reed, and a short fall away from the basket. That time, Toppin was there to defend. Livingston. Hanging in it will not go in. If you can't win inside the zone at the nail, slide off of it. Look at top and he slides off of it to that mid post. It's a little crowded action right there. Sheetway, they could reach hands out and touch one another. But still, that, that to me, that is Toppin's best spot. Isolation, man-to-man. -man. Cal will put him on that side of the floor, back him down to that turnaround jump shot. Really well done against that LSU zone. Livingston knocks it down. Reed picks up his second. That was tremendous right there. Did you see that? Some athletes. With the backflip? Yes. That's why they've won 24 national titles. Stuff like that. The scouting report on the cheer team. You bowl, you scout, you coach. You sneak Chick-fil-A into movie theaters. There's all sorts of things people need to know about you. Miller, short. She went another rebound as he inches towards a double-double here in the first half. And Cal guards his own team by slowing him down, going with a play call. I guess LSU's man-to-man. -man. Got to stack it high. Almost too strong. Rabbi, I've seen five or six different half-court actions by Kentucky against man-to-man. They ran some decent stuff against zone. Okay. Screaming for a walk here on Hayes. Got to be a ball screen here, right? Five seconds on the shot clock. Hayes with Sheboy on him. Fades away. Really wow. tough shot. He knocks it down. And you can't guard it any better than Sheboy did. They switched out. Sheboy stayed down, 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 and didn't come up until he challenged his shot. Good defense, better offense, a four-point game. Unless you calls timeout, we'll take it. Be right back. Being the best takes hard work. It takes early mornings, planning, precision, sweat, sacrifice, and teamwork. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in their game. Old Dominion Freight Line, helping the world keep promises. Both teams are really good defensively. The difference, Kentucky switches. Now you've got a five on a two. And the five in Sheepway stays low. He chokes off the drive and forces a really tough shot. Look at Sheepway. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Move your feet. Cut him off. Choke off his water. Challenge the shot. What do you do about it? Pat him on the butt and play on. LSU does not switch defensively in their man-to-man. -man. Kentucky does. Choke off his water? Yes. He was trying to get in that paint. She went really good for a big guy. Well, she would get the last shot of his half. Get up the top of the free throw. And he kicks. Wallace. Hang 
hanging floater, it will drop it. LSU will get it with about 15 seconds to go in the half, down by six. Under control, was he not? Yep. Just completely took the possible charge out of the play. They're going to double if he get the ball out of his hands. This is not good. It was good, certainly no. for LSU. Why would you do that? Why would you run at the ball and allow a guy to catch it at the free throw line? I understand trying to double and get the ball out of a Hannibal's hands, but you come out allow the ball to be thrown right to the free throw line, and now you got a two-on-one, a big basket by LSU, Ravi, to close out the half. Yeah, good pass, good heads-up yeah. play by Reed. And he found K.J. Williams. Williams got 13 points. Oscar Shibway has got 12 and 8 rebounds. Well, the two guys as advertised to the better bigs in all of college basketball going below for below. 42-38. Back to the studio. Bomber Parai, Kevin Connors with Woj and Seth Greenberg. Love it, Ravi. Well done there. And what a first half there in Lexington. 20 minutes down. Jeep halftime report. Busy night in the SEC. And guys, Mississippi State walked into an absolute buzzsaw in Knoxville tonight. What has Tennessee shown you so far, Wojo? Well, they've been as good a defensive team as there is in the country. Tonight, their offense showed up big time. 12 for 21 from the three-point line. Santiago Vescovi, four for eight from the three-point line. If they marry an elite defense with a very good offense, we're talking about a national championship caliber team. Size, length, athleticism, versatility. They can play big, they can play small. And Ziegler and Vescovi, those two guys are hard to play against when they're playing at a high level. 81-47 right now. South Carolina Vanderbilt, G.G. Jackson's the star there. Yeah, they're rebuilding this program at South Carolina. The problem is he's a freshman. Will he be there for his sophomore year? It's hard to rebuild your program each and every year, but that dude is a really talented 6'9", skilled player, graduated high school early, came in early. That's always difficult. Vanderbilt getting a little bit better, and Robbins is the difference. Well, three minutes to go in this game. Tied at 61. There is Liam Robbins cleaning up a miss. It is a two-point game. It's just gone final. Big win for Vanderbilt. Syracuse going on the road to Louisville to take on Jalen Withers and the Cardinals. Huge game for both of the teams. Joe Girard for Syracuse has come up huge with 21 points. Hit three threes, one of the best shooters in the ACC. It's a big opportunity for Louisville. Louisville's just got to try to stack some wins and, and, and get, get a chance to feel good about their team because obviously it's been a tough start for Kenny Payne. Speaking of trying to stack some wins and feel good about their team, that's obviously been the consensus around this Kentucky team right now. And Wojo, some encouraging signs in this first half. Yeah, to me, for Kentucky to reach their potential, it starts on the defensive end. I think that's an area of the game they can be elite, where they're being disruptive, getting turnovers, uh, turning defense into offense. This is a team that can have a hard time scoring in the half court. If their defense can spark their offense, that's going to mean good things for this Kentucky Wildcats team. Yeah, I think they've got the size and the length to do it. Do they have the toughness to do it, to fight through screens, to get over the top of ball screens? Those are the questions to me on the defensive end. Well, I think offensively, you got Oscar Shibwe, who obviously is the center of attention. You can get Jacob Topping involved in your offense. I think Casey Wallace is an emerging star. I would want Chris Livingston flying around all over the place using athleticism. I thought they'd been pretty good offensively in terms of sharing the basketball, making plays for others, and making good decisions. That last decision defensively at the half was a brutal decision. Keep the game in front, force a contested shot. You're not going to create a turnover in that situation. To your point, an 18-8 advantage on the boards there, and 11 first-half assists for Kentucky, and again, yet the lead is only four at the break. When we come back on the Jeep Halftime Report, we'll run through the rest of college basketball. Plus, we're counting you down to Jalen Wilson, guy who's worked himself into the Player of the Year conversation Dude, in play. Kansas. Jayhawks and Texas Tech coming up top of the hour on ESPN2. This halftime report is presented by Jeep. There's only one. This halftime report is presented by Jeep. There's only one. Bill safety, DeMar Hamlin, remains in a Cincinnati hospital tonight in critical condition after suffering cardiac arrest during Buffalo's Monday night game against the Cincinnati Bengals. Today, the NFL announced the Week 17 game between the teams will not be resumed this week. They've made no decision on whether or not to resume it at a later date. Hamlin's family issued a statement saying, on behalf of our family, 
We want to express our sincere gratitude for the love and support shown to DeMar during this challenging time. We are deeply moved by the prayers, kind words, and donations from fans around the country. Your generosity and compassion mean the world to us. Please keep DeMar in your prayers. We will release updates as soon as we have them. And for much more on DeMar, DeMar Hamlin, Sports Center has you covered following the game over on ESPN2. This has been the Jeep Halftime Report. My name is Austin James. As a musician living with diabetes, finger sticks can be a real challenge. That's why I use the Freestyle Libre 2 system. With a painless one-second scan, I know my glucose numbers without finger sticks. Now I'm managing my diabetes better, and I've lowered my A1C from 8.2 to 6.7. Take the mystery out of managing your diabetes and lower your A1C. Now you know. Try it for free at freestylelibre.us. Sailing a great river past extraordinary landscapes into the heart of iconic cities is a journey for the curious traveler, one that many have yet to discover. Exploring with Viking brings you closer to the world, to the history, the culture, the flavors. A serene river voyage on an elegant Viking longship. Learn more at viking.com. All of Sonic's under two dollar craves are under two bucks, so you can get something tasty without breaking the bank. Sonic under two dollar craves. Mm, Sonic. There are five days of the week. Friday. 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 And everyone's favorite. Friday. Sizzle, pork, and mmm. Here, every drop of sweat contains a lifetime of dreams. Every letter, every blade signifies hallowed ground. Championships come down to fingertips. Small steps and giant leaps inspire your future generations. Because here, every little thing just means more. Super Tuesday presented by Progressive. We got ourselves a ball game, 42-38. Terrific halftime entertainment. And boy, a clean game. We've got a total of five turnovers, 12 fouls. Nobody in any dramatic foul territory. Both teams shooting very well, and the big fellows have both shown up. Yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with how both teams have executed the half court. You mentioned the low turnovers, but the game's being decided right now around the rim. And Obviously, Oscar Sheepway and K.J. Williams are the two guys yeah. that are getting it done for both their ball clubs and the rewarding performance, the Capital One rewarding performance. K.J. Williams started off knocking down threes, grabbing that pick-and-pop situation. And you got to respect him. You give him enough, enough time now and enough airspace. You're going to rise and fire. Now you come flying at him. The shot fake sets him up very graceful for a kid that size to finish going towards the rim. What's Oscar done? Had missed a shot, five out of five. Watch how low he plays on all these replays. Find him on the backside, but he's a low leverage, whip you, move you guy with tremendous hand strength and quickness once it gets into his soft set of paws. Expect another 20 minutes of blow for blow between 12 and 34. 13 points, one rebound for Williams. 12 points, eight rebounds for Sheba. You talk a lot about his footwork. You got a chance to see how quick his hands are, too, yeah. in some of those plays. 
great players never ask this question. How about William stepping right out of that now? Time and he buries a three. More questions. Was that my ball? And Oscar Sheway never asked that question. Was that my ball? Every ball in his eyes belongs to him. What a start for LSU to get KJ wide open three on the first possession. Okay, so Wallace had nine in the first half. Wheeler had eight. Allen scoring for Kentucky. LSU just down one. As Wallace pulls up and finds Wheeler who kicks it around. Livingston, hard drive, no good. Sheepway, offensive rebound, and up and in it goes. He's looking for a foul. I, I just think you have to fight him harder than what LSU is doing with the balls on the glass. It can't be a normal box off that you do with everyone else you play against. Trying to throw it right through top, and that didn't work. Rare turnover for LSU. They have only three in the first half. Kentucky only two. She wait. That's good defense. That's going to be a jump ball and the possession arrow is Kentucky's. I mean, twice in this game, KJ Williams has just sprinted. Watch him on the right side. Just boop, pop out quickly. A little bit of a brush screen on Sheboy to knock him off the path. Therefore, Sheboy is late to recover. And KJ Williams, again, knocking down 50% of his threes now on the year. But it knows John Moran, of course, and what he's done at the NBA level. What is Murray State? all about as it relates to LSU. What are we going to see from LSU next couple of years? You're, you're going to see a, a team that values the basketball. They fight their tail off defensively and they're solid and sound. As well as shoots over the top of that solid sound defense. And you're going to see a guy in Matt McMahon that recruits grinders, gym rats that love the game and are selfless. That's all he talks about in his recruiting. Wallace with 12. Miller the drive, met at the rim, top and offensive rebound. Fountain, he throws it up. Sheepway held his ground. Good look. Yes, and a reverse from Toppin, who is cutting on the drive. Savir Wheeler has not had a turnover in this game. And now with six to six. He's playing as well as I've seen him play in a Kentucky uniform. 46 career game for Sheepway, his 36th double double. Defense there, the steal, and he threw it off of Williams, but it looked like maybe Toppin got it last. I mean, Kentucky pushing this thing out to an eight-point lead. That's just a dribble handoff, and you cannot go under or melt on the screen when it's Wallace getting the ball. There's that hard cut by Toppin from the weak side. To me, Kentucky can get better in a couple of areas offensively. One of them is to cut harder with more force. Toppin just did. Well, there's a cut, Man, wide open. AJ Williams throws it down. He is such a high IQ basketball player. Shot selection is tied to your basketball IQ. He does not take bad shots. A really smart kid. Very encouraging for Kentucky. You saw the Wheeler doesn't have a turnover. The alley oop. Toppin was there to get it. Livingston is open. That's off. Look at Toppin go up. Get it. Offensive rebound, there's no boxing out of zero and white. Jacob Toppin recently talked about emotionally hitting rock bottom. And that game, a lot of folks in Kentucky, in which he played Louisville and scored 24, really hoped that was a springboard. And tonight he's played very well. Hannibal by Sheebway. Oh, look out. Toppin came from the foul line, but there is a foul. at top and first of all is the ability to save a bad pass finds the back side where the shot was taken a high IQ offensive rebound Hannibal goes bowling and Toppin erases it but again the ability of Hannibal to get downhill is a real concern not only this game all year long in the SEC this kid's going to be hard to guard a foul was on Sheway that's only his first he tends to do a terrific job of staying out of foul time Sheepway, yeah, he yeah, had great body control, and he keeps his body off of you as a defender about as well as you can ask for from a college five man. Tells half the story, the 14 points, he's got the 10 rebounds, as you mentioned, 
36 double doubles, 46 career games at Kentucky. Seven point lead. Livingston will try again. And another one off. A couple of his shots have been a little bit off to the right. It looked zone. I'm not so sure LSU just wasn't switching everything. We got Kentucky standing a little bit. Long three is off, and Shigwe just knocked his own teammate to the ground to pick up his 11th rebound. shot clock and Wallace launches too strong look at Oscar go and get it but he went after it Wheeler three no good and that's on Hannibal said enough with the offensive rebounds for Kentucky the bowling ball to the rack no foul he's on the ground and slow to get up with the ability of Sheboy to run with Hannibal very impressive all got stuck that last possession. Keep that thing hot if you're Kentucky right now. Floppy action. This line pull up from Wallace is no good. Every floppy action is when you put a shooter under the under the under the rim. He has the option to go out on either side. We we toss that term around a lot, but we kind of need to explain it. Everyone, everyone runs it. She way off yeah. the ground. Good play that time. Here at Fountain, the former Mississippi State. For a big kid, he's a good spinner. And Sheway has to understand that from the scouting report. It's not his first drive, it's his drive into a spin that gets him to the front of the rim more than anything else. They got a double on the baseline. That ball out of bounds, and it's going to stick with Kentucky. 51 46. Double double for 34. But LSU awfully impressive in their first year under Matty McMahon. so much space we have a guest room now but we have ants you're slouching again ted expired 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 thanks aunt bonnie it's a lot of house i hope you can keep it clean at least geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy which helps us save a lot of money oh teddy did you get my friend request oh i'll have to check aunt joni's here for bundling made easy go to geico.com I see a great future for you. Adventures, success in business, irresistible to the ladies. You can see all that from my hand? Yes, but not from that one. From the other one. Renville gives you wings. You came in after work. It's the only time you can. Save a mistake and bacon grilled cheese. Sounds like a great plan. Wild kids online are really me. Sonic steak and bacon grilled cheese. Mm, Sonic. With Prime Video, tis the season to binge. College and gifts. Every episode of Rings of Power, plus all the Lord of the Rings movies on the one app that unites them all. I'm going on an adventure! Catch up on hit shows. Rewatch your favorite movies. Watch it all with your fellowship. A very happy match, indeed. See where it takes you. Prime Video. Did you know one of Nissan's EVs survived the North Pole? And one can go 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds. And they're all emission-free. 
But don't get an EV for the E. Get it because it pins you to your seat. Sparks your imagination and takes your breath away. Nissan EVs aren't just electric. They electrify you. I wish I could see June this holiday. Some time with Oscar would be nice. Causing trouble? Running around the ship. Lying through my teeth. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I wish you for. Oscar! I'm not following you. Rated teen. Time for a fast break with LSU basketball. But the one person you could see in concert right now, who would it be? In concert? In concert, yeah. Little Baby. Oh. Little Baby. If I go see somebody in concert, it would be probably Lil Baby or Chief Keef. My fellow Appalachian State guy, Lou Combs. Lou Combs, man, there's nothing better than him. Nothing better than him. Fast break with Matt McMahon. Welcome to the league, by the way. Appalachian State for McMahon. He was playing in under Buzz Peterson. 124 career three-point field goals, and he is a builder, man. April 22nd, uh, April of 2022, zero scholarship players. He's currently 12-1. and one. A loss came at Kansas State. They beat Arkansas. And you think about Sharif O'Neal and Xavier Pinson, Alex Fudge, Brandon Murray, Darius Days. Like, they're all gone. And none of them were there. Cupboard was empty as Wheeler threw it up. And that's a shot clock violation. And in no time, he looked around. All of a sudden, this is, as he says, a work in progress. But boy, this is an impressive work they got going it's an amazing job what he did to have no one on scholarship on April 1 and then almost built like an expansion team a little bit from here a little bit from there but the, the three key guys from Murray State really kind of set the foundation and the culture and the belief in terms of how they want to play another big guy for LSU spinning yeah those foundational pieces from Murray State because they bring with them an experience and understanding Absolutely. and accountability and there seems to be a whole bunch of accountability when he runs his practice. Same thing with Dennis Gates at Missouri. Brock Key guys from Cleveland State. She may got fouled. Gonna get Williams for that. Yeah, the new coaches in the right. SEC, Jimmy, have done very well early. And you can just tell that as the top-heavy conference experiences more and more play in conference, some of those mid-level teams, Mississippi State's a really good team. I understand tonight they're getting run. Right. But you can see the foundation pieces already from their coach. No, this league in a couple of years will be the standard in college basketball because Kentucky's never going to go away. But you look at the hires of Matt McMahon at LSU and Chris Chance at Mississippi State, Dennis Gates at Missouri, on top of all the other programs they're already established. You add Oklahoma and Texas to this mix in a couple of years, and SEC basketball will be the standard in college ball going forward. I have no doubt about it. You're going to see Florida new coach tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. By the way, I'm more of a little Uzi guy myself. Little, you little you are so little happy that he said, Luke Bones, right back into your comfort zone. When you're not singing your own songs, I'm singing Luke Tone. I'm covering Luke's songs. Luke Luke Home Hits. That's right. Oh, my goodness. Good. Good. Way up. Nice. How about the body control? And a little flex. His head was about rim high, and he hung for a long time. Right. There is not a more explosive, stronger athlete in all of college basketball than Trey Hanley. 6'2", 215, it just knocks people out of the way. Therefore, defensively, what do you do? You have to have guys that run to the ball, give up their body, and make him play in a crowd and draw a charge. If not, he's going to eat you up at the rim. Sheboy's second free throw misses. That was, that was special. Hannibal off the bench has played 19 minutes already. And understand why. Well, if you try to protect that nail, they get away from it there. Top is going to make a play. He's so yeah. good and releases from such a high, high angle. Nobody can get there. And as soon as LSU gave up the nail, that's exactly where Top and went. Nothing but the bottom. Back to back good games for Jacob Toppin and double figures now with 10. Miller open three. Too strong. They, LSU, need him offensively to get going. They shot a good percentage tonight, only 30% from the year on the three. Sheboy capped out and the foul. He back Reed all the way down to the baseline, got the pass, and then used one big step to get to the rim. Uh, again, you have to run with Sheboy and you have to compete. You didn't run, so he wins the foot race to the low block, and then you don't compete and bite your tail off. 
He's going to win that battle 100 times out of 100. Man against the boy as Reed checks out. He's going to be a good player. It's just not a match at all for Oscar Sheepway right now. 18 and 13 for Oscar Sheepway. Kawani Wilkinson, a carryover, is into the game for LSU. He was part of the team last year. Sheepway will shoot the free throw. Part of the Shibwe story is his recovery. He's started the season at what, 75%? Now maybe, maybe 85, yeah. 90. Now he, he's getting closer. He is. 10 point cushion for Kentucky. Danger territory right now for LSU on the road. Yeah. Largest lead of the night. LSU get its points from if not Hannibal and KJ Williams. Those are that's option one and two. He takes it and everybody moves and they avoided the ball. Rep, he's got to take the shot. He got by the rim. He's got to take the shot. Great effort there by Hannibal to keep that ball alive. Turnover. Wheeler thought he had an alley oop. It's a 10 point game. They could get to 15 in a hurry if LSU doesn't take care of the ball and take good shots. Wilkinson had a good start to the season as the baseline, boy, that's a tough shot, an NBA-type shot for K.J. Williams. Yeah, top at that time was the defender on K.J. Williams. Fought his tail off on the high side, but a really tough shot, a long shot from the dunker spot by Williams. Calipari in the background yelling, move it, move it. And that's a bad pass and a turnover. First one by Wheeler tonight. Holy ball. Yeah, he jumps it off. That's a block. And Hannibal was out of bounds and knew he couldn't come back in to get it. He's dragging a little bit. I just feel like Hannibal needs to be taking shots at the rim because he's at least going to get fouled. He's given it up the last two times that he's gotten there. Rib decisions are so important for guard play. Watch now out. The oop is wide open. Good look from Wallace to Toppin on the baseline. Boy, the pass was to perfection. You fall asleep and you you ball watch, and Toppin just sneaks from behind, and there's no stopping Toppin on that play. Now you watch this right here. You ball watch, no one's intense, no one's talking, and you will get hammered at the rim every time in this league on a lazy defensive possession like LSU just had. The main I see a great future for you. Adventures, success in business, irresistible to the ladies. You can see all that from my hand? Yes, but not from that one, from the other one. Red Bull gives you wings. Spam. Don't knock it till you've fried it. Sizzle, pork, and mmm. You got to frank it up. Frank it up. Frank it up. Yeah. Frank's Red Hot. It's the perfect blend of flavor and heat. Rob these little weenies. Now it was my low energy. At Planet Fitness, there's hope. With tons of energizing equipment in our judgment-free zone. Join for $1 down, $10 a month. Cancel any time. Deal ends January 12th. Look at my wieners now. Listen to me, Tony Hawk. No more skateboarding. Okay. Badminton. One. Oh, one. Get into that. <laughs> Try the super spicy raw men. Child's play. <laughs> it's missing something. I got it. I got it. Let's show you how this theremin works. <laughs> oh, 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 that's hot. Mm. Calm down. Calm down. Keenan. Hey, Keenan. Looking good. Feeling good. I just found all these cars on Auto Trader. Wow. I wait for the best part there, microwave. A dealer is going to deliver this car to our home. Never, Never leave, leave home. home. Never, Never leave, leave home. home. Oh, it's here. There is one thing I can't do from home. Drive. Someone stop him. Keenan. <laughs>
Jeez, mm. Sonic. When we started selling my health products online, our shipping process was painfully slow. Then we found ShipStation. Now we're shipping out orders five times faster, and we're saving a ton. Go to ShipStation.com slash TV and get two months free. A final chapter. Can the Horn Frog secure their storybook ending? Over the dogs defend their crown. The National Championship brought to you by AT&T. Too much college football is never too much. You're watching the SEC on ESPN. Jimmy Dykes, Carl Ravitch, Kentucky. Up by 10 over LSU. They shot 57% in the first half. And in the second half, they're shooting 54%. They've opened up their biggest lead of the game. And they're getting some really good balance scoring is Kentucky. Shibway leads the way. But right behind him, Jacob Toppin, back-to-back -to -back big games. Maybe he becomes that third scoring option. He's got a dozen. So does Casey Wallace. And this is a critical time, it feels like, for LSU to hang around. And in the critical times, you go to number 12 in purple. Talking about K.J. Williams. He started the half, freed him up for a sprint out three. What does Matt McMahon go to on this ATO to get a basket? Elevator. To Miller, three, was online but short. I like to play a good yeah. elevator screen to close it off. and got Miller freed up. to pick that ball up and a foul against LSU. That's the first on Justice Williams. We'll take a timeout. Less than 10 to go here in the second half. 10-point game. Kentucky on top. When your resume is on Indeed, you get matched with jobs that fit your requirements. Where do you get your persistence from? As someone living with type 2 diabetes, I want to keep it real and talk about some risks. With type 2 diabetes, you have up to four times greater risk of stroke, heart attack, or death. Even at your A1C goal, you're still at risk, which, if ignored, could bring you here. May put you in one of those. Or even worse, too much? That's the point. Get real about your risks and do something about it. Talk to your health care provider about ways to lower your risk of stroke, heart attack, or death. Learn more at GetRealAboutDiabetes.com. How will your business adapt to change? You could hire an office full of Peyton Mannings. Hello, Peyton. Morning, Peyton. Hello for Peyton. Peyton Huddle. Welcome to the Peyton verse. Such a visionary. Game plan. You go. No, you go. And call Audible. Double our investment in Omaha. Omaha! 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 Or you could use Workday. Omaha. The finance, HR, and planning system used by over half of the Fortune 500 for a be agile like an MVP world. Workday for a changing world. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. And the handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to a hundred. Continental. Welcome to the Smart Choice in Tires. I see a great future for you. Adventures, success in business, irresistible to the ladies. You can see all that from my hand? Yes, but not from that one. From the other one. Red Bull gives you wings. Next on Behind the Series. Let me tell you about the greatest roster ever assembled. The monster, the outlaw. You can't forget about the boss. It wasn't just a roster. It was a menu. The Subway Series. The greatest menu of all time. Kevin Connors in studio. Look at Jason Robertson and a Dallas Stars team riding a four-game win streak. 
second meeting of the season with the LA Kings, two of the very best in the West. It'll be a 10-12 Eastern puck drop, Ravi, the NHL here on ESPN. Thank you very much. Kevin Connors back here. Kentucky's got a 10-point lead. Sheepway's got 14 rebounds. LSU has got 12 as a team. Try the alley-oop to Topton. Instead, he gets it and fires up a bad shot, and it goes out of bounds off LSU. Larry, the rebounding numbers are astonishing. Kentucky with 27 boards in this game to LSU's 12. I think it's an amazing stat that Oscar Sheepway has never been out-rebounded by an opposing player since he's been at Kentucky, and it's not going to happen tonight. I wonder how many times he's out-rebounded the opponent, yeah, like the yeah, team. Yeah. Top and no good, loose ball. Williams. LSU needs points. Cal now with Toppin as a primary defender on Williams to take away that pick and pop three. Case followed it but a little late. And Cal again guards his own team by putting the stop sign up. And what a deliberate offensive possession right now with nine to go up 10. They got it to Shibway. Good time block from behind with Williams. Does, it, does he ever fumble a pass, Oscar Shibway? I couldn't hear what you said. I couldn't either. <laughs> Three ball, knocked down by Miller. No, he does not fumble the ball. No. We talked about his footwork, but I don't think his hands get enough credit. This is a big night now for Adam Miller. Four out of ten from the three-point line. He shot the ball crazy as a freshman at Illinois. Has not transferred so far this year, but can take LSU to another level offensively. And they need him to. He missed all of last year with a torn ACL. Wallace, that's too strong. Sheboy, another offensive rebound. Does he find the ball or does the ball find him? Both. But again, he's not asking the question on film tomorrow. Coach, was that ball fine or not? They're all his. Five on the shot clock, and Wheeler up in the air, spins. And Shibwe fighting for it. It's going to be LSU basketball. The deliberate style, he said he liked it. They're trying to play with a little more joy, but LSU's trying to buzzkill their ninth. Seven-point game. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Progressive Insurance. It's easy to bundle your home and car insurance at Progressive.com. Hello. I saw you move in, and I wanted to welcome you to the neighborhood with some homemade biscuits. Oh, that's so nice. And a little tip. Geico could help you save on homeowner's insurance. Cookies. Uh, biscuits. Hmm. A little nutmeg, isn't it? Oh, it's my mum's secret recipe. You can tell me. It's a secret. Is it cinnamon? It's my mum's secret recipe. Call Geico and see how easy saving on homeowners and condo insurance can be. I'll come back to the plate. Listen to me, Tony Hawk. No more skateboarding. Okay. Badminton. One. Oh, one. Get into that. <laughs> Try the super spicy raw men. <laughs> Play. <laughs> it's missing something. I got it. I got it. I'll show you how this theremin works. <laughs> oh, 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 that's hot. Mm. Calm down. Calm down. I want to be quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. I want to carry 80,000 fans to victory. You know, at the major. <laughs> Everyone. What did you expect? Did you think you could relax? Or had you convinced yourself some records were forever? That you'd seen everything it was to see? Or have you realized you can't look away and you don't know the future and that the game has never been better? That is hockey. 
Poshmark is the perfect side hustle. There's so much I can sell. Bags, clothes, and even electronics. It's so easy. I can list in 60 seconds or less. I can't imagine a better side hustle. Is your life a little stressful? Try Amazing Ashwa from Force Factor. Premium KSM 66 Ashwa Ganda in Amazing Ashwa helps reduce stress and anxiety and more. Life doesn't have to be so hard. Rush to Walmart for Amazing Ashwa from Force Factor. Why should men try Ageless Male Max? Because it has KSM 66 to help increase testosterone and Knox Perform to boost nitric oxide production, which can be handy in the gym and in the bedroom. Get to Walmart to try Ageless Male Max. At Bombas, we make the comfiest socks, underwear, and t-shirts that feel good and most of all do good. Because when you purchase one, we donate one to those in need. Visit Bombas.com and get 20% off your first purchase. Bombas. Kentucky, number seven, Alabama, Saturday at 1 on ESPN. Our upcoming Sonic Blockbuster on Saturday, Alabama and Nate Oates. Terrific again. Four top 25 wins, arguably the best resume of any team given the teams they've beaten. And we talked about the depth of the team. Brandon Miller is a superstar, and think about player of the year candidates. It feels like the start that he's gotten off to certainly puts himself in. He's like the Jabari Smith of Auburn last year. Yeah. Alabama. There's not many of those every year, right. Abby, or any year, actually. You talk about that kid, Brandon Miller, and you think, okay, who are the other freshmen making really strong impacts on top 10 teams? Short list. Grady Dick at Kansas would be on there. It's Julian Phillips at Tennessee. Let your lawyer Purdue have a really solid year after about 12 points. It is hard, man, to impact winning teams with a true freshman. And Miller was absolutely getting it done. Big trip here for LSU. 7.30 to go, down seven. Hannibal sees the lane, gets shut off, and a kick. Three no good, and it's tipped up and in. Not sure who the basket's going to be credited to. Maybe Fountain. They're within five. It looked like Fountain ran in and got a soft call. And they're being hammered on the boards. Only their third offensive rebound in this game for LSU, but it was big. Livingston. Wallace open three. Too strong. And it's LSU that comes down with it. That's going to be a foul on Damian Collins. Two seconds. Driving when you're getting pumped on the glass. At some point, you got to fight back. And Fountain runs in. That's a really soft tip off of a big guy that's on the move. And a very important putback. Get this game at single digits. Now only down five. He's a 6'10 junior. He attended Murray State elite camps when he was in eighth grade. There's this guy who came from Murray State. So there's some history between those two. Reeves has Hannibal. And it's so far off that it hit the backboard and went in. I, I, I'm calling kind of timeout right now if I'm Cal. It just feels like LSU has the mojo, the momentum, and the luck right now. And I, you, can, you can feel it coming. It's a good timeout by Cal to settle his guys down. LSU's a good team. You know they're not going to go away easily. Mac McMahon holding up really well his first time on the road in SEC play. 8 0 run. You don't get to say that. I won't let anything harm you. Megan, you killed people. Occupational hazard. That's insane, right? What do you there's a great tale if you watch P.J. Williams after he made this shot. He was almost grossed out by it. That was not supposed to be a bank shot. No, it was not. Uh, Damien Williams over that recovery link forced it a little high. K.J. Williams now four out of six from the three-point line. We've got ourselves a ball game. And 
I don't draw pictures on golf scorecards or in scorebooks no, for basketball. They, but, Rabbi, you cannot allow K.J. Williams to shoot standstill threes. Alley oop! Wow! Top one right over Fountain. That's why you take a timeout really well done by Cal to settle his guys down with explosive play out of the timeout. Williams, 23 points to lead the way for LSU. We'll go back to him again. And he goes with the left hand. That one was way off. Fountain gets the rebound. Williams aggressive, and he threw the ball away. Grabby Kentucky ran this play against Louisville. And watch Toppin right here. This is a box set, but Toppin's going to come off of it and find the backside. It's really re well executed. Looks like the play is coming to the strong side of the floor. This is all decoy on this side, and Toppin finds the backside. Kentucky has run some good stuff. And I said earlier, Cal gets a lot of criticism for his offense. I don't think it's accurate. I think this offense is growing. He's running good stuff, and they're starting to figure out who they are. Toppin has six of Kentucky's last nine points. They're going to get an offensive foul on Reeves. his first a push off by Reeves trying to free himself up Jimmy Tennant top is 14 points in the second half how about LSU on the road at rough down only four that's a walk just a ghost screen a smoke screen action by Fountain to get him isolated with a rip and a drive but he got his feet a little happy where does Cal go to now? Need the basket. No, Shibwe has been such a load inside. Top of the cut. Run. Yes, it was. I'm telling you, he's the best cutter that Kentucky has off ball. And Wallace kind of drove the dive of Shibwe, attracted the defense, and Toppin just blitzed it for the weak side. He's got 16. 24 point performance. Thought about it. Ray Miller doesn't think about it. He just launches and he knocks down his fifth of the game and a quick timeout for LSU. You cannot let Miller get free. He's seen a big rim tonight. Caboosing, chasing, be on his numbers. But you cannot let Miller now get free looks in this game. Fountain seemed to. Uh, be suffering after this shot. Keep an eye on 20. Shibwe got his yeah, hand up there right in his face. It looked like it was intentional, but it certainly was his hand in right his here, face right here. there. That's yeah. what we're looking at. And Wallace went under the screen on Miller. And there'll be no right explanation by 22 and White tomorrow, but watch right here on the left side. That, that's, that's contact above the shoulders in the neck area. That's exactly why Doug Shouse and Vladimir Voyad are watching the same tape we are. Right there. That that hold off by Shibwe with the extended arm into the neck area could easily be an F1. To me, that's not a basketball play box off. That's a stick your hand out right to the throat area. I think Matt McMahon's got a case for LSU right now for the replay that I've seen. Dutch House is explaining it. The explanation has been given to Kelly Perry. Doesn't 
for this ball. Big shot there, big chance. And Wheeler has been really good on the defensive boards for Kentucky in this game. is facing this way? Progressive can't save you from zero. becoming your parents, but we can save you money oh, when you want to model with us. Okay, that was terrible. Okay, let's hang back. We're going to try that again. Adventure X Card from Capital One gives you premium travel benefits, like two times miles on every purchase. The noise canceling. You're being too loud. Thank you. Good choice. Ooh. My lucky number. Earn five times miles on flights. Enjoy your stay. Going up? And 10 times yeah, miles yeah. on hotels through Capital One oh. Travel. Plus, get access to over 1,300 airport lounges. Oh, white wine, please. And maybe see the one and only Taylor Swift. Capital One, what's in your wallet? That sizzle? That's the soundtrack of Chipotle. The soundtrack of Chipotle? Oh, yeah. You come in, you're going to be hearing that sizzle. That's how you know that we always have fresh food. Fresh is what you stand for. <laughs> exactly. Sail through the heart of historic cities and unforgettable scenery with Viking. Unpack once and get closer to iconic landmarks, local life, and cultural treasures. Because when you experience Europe on a Viking longship, you'll spend less time getting there and more time being there. Viking. Exploring the world in comfort. I see a great future for you. Adventures, success in business, irresistible to the ladies. You can see all that from my hand? Yes, but not from that one. From the other one. Red Bull gives you wings. Fellow elites, now that we've made travel so ridiculously expensive, we can enjoy this hotel without all the filthy normals littering this place with their mindless frivolity. <laughs> You get here. Kayak. Huh? They compared hundreds of travel sites to find a great deal on my flight, car, and hotel. I guess we'll just have to eat him. Yeah. Kayak. You do it. Kayak. Search one and done. Thursday, West Coast action. I mean, I leading UCLA against USC and Boogie Ellis. Holly Pavilion, 930 Eastern. Jimmy, I know your player of the year candidates. You go north to south, east to west, you get the whole the whole country covered. Well, right now, I think it's down to these three guys, and now there's a couple of the names that could jump out there, but Zach Eady, there's no answer for him right now. I know they lost last night, but this guy's averaging 22 and 13. Keep an eye on Drew Timmy. His numbers, Rabbi, have been unbelievable the last seven ball games, more like 29 and 12, and I think Jalen Wilson's doing everything for a phenomenal Kansas team that's good enough to get back to the Final Four, if not win it again. The other two names that are right there with those three, Oscar Sheepway, you'd be foolish to forget about him, and Azulis Tabellas from Arizona. I think those five guys, your National Player of the Year, is coming from that group and that group only. All right, again, USC, UCLA, Thursday, 930. 67-61, 3-25 to go in this game. Rabbi, you mentioned UCLA. Nobody has two seniors that are that good and that tough as Hawkes and Campbell. Wallace well, lost it. Sheepway picked it up, threw it up off the iron. 
Hannibal comes down with it. Talking to Nick Cronin this week about his guys. He loves those two seniors. I saw USC at the Atlanta. So UCLA is the real deal now. Top 10 in both offensive and defensive efficiencies. Only two teams in the country. Quarter Bam. three, nothing but the bottom. And that's Cam Hayes. He has been a real spark plug since he's entered the starting lineup. Their defensive rebounding has gotten better. Their assistive turnover ratio has dropped. He's a combo guard. Man, Matt McMahon, I'm so impressed. His yeah. first game on the road at SEC play as a head coach going blow for blow, chess match for chess match with Calipari in the play calls. Wheeler, and she waits, talks with him. 